This show is all about dreams, but sometimes dreams don't quite turn out like we expect them to. And uh, I know some dreams that haven't quite come true, especially Scott Dowie. How are you, Scott? Very well, you. Yeah. Scott, you dreamt of proposing to your girlfriend at the top of the Eiffel Tower, but Lisa <laughs> is scared of heights, so you ended up proposing at the bottom with a ring in one hand and a chocolate crepe in the other. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and also, Sandra Tate. Sandra. I, I know you've had a dream of being a dancer. Could it be a tap dancer, a ballet dancer? In fact, no, it was a pole dancer. <laughs> Sorry, hon, but that dream's already come true. <laughs> and finally, Ann Jones. How are you, Ann? I'm fine. I'm good. You fine? Well, I know you've had a, a dream of getting a singing part in the local amateur dramatics performance, but it didn't come true, did it? Mm -hmm. No, because what did you get? A tree. There you are up there, as a tree. Nothing wooden about that performance. No? Um, why was it, Ann, that you were only a tree? Because I can't sing. <laughs> Are you going to give us a little shot of it? No, I don't think so. <laughs> we don't want to upset any viewers, do we? No, or anyone here. Now, look, that's not all I know about you, because you may not be the best singer in the world, but your daughter Jackie has told me that you are an amazing woman. Yeah? Take a deep breath, because it wasn't just Jackie who told me about you. I want you to come with me, and I want you to watch this. My mum is the most amazing, wonderful, warm, kind person you could ever meet. Anne is a great mother and grandmother and wife. She's always given up everything for us, her daughters, and she's doing the same for her grandchildren. I love my nana that much. I love my nana that much. I wanted to do something really special for mum this year. It's a big year. She's 70, although she doesn't look it. She never puts herself first. She's always thinking of other people and I think she'll be really surprised to have all the attention focused on her. My wife Anne is a busy, active, involved sort of person. Mum's been a school governor for over 10 years now. She works tirelessly to support the school, both the staff and the pupils. She's really active in the community, doing things for people less fortunate than herself. We're all members of the Union Catholic Mothers and we do lots of fundraising to help people in the community. We do lots of plays and shows to raise money for charity. Anna's always liked music and one of her great regrets is that she hasn't got a wonderful voice. Oh uh, well, Anne cannot sing, can she? No she's, way. She's no tone deaf, I'm afraid. Absolutely. She loves to join in. I like it when my Nana sings to me. But she's improving. Anne and I have been married all these years now. We're so used to each other. This is a chance to actually say a big public thank you, Anne. Well done, Anne. You deserve this. Cheers. We've been married 42 years, and I don't think I've said it often enough. I'm proud of you, and I love you, and I thank you. You're a wonderful, wonderful mother, and I'm so proud of you. I love you, Mum. We love you, Nana. Lovely words there, because you're clearly a wonderful woman. And clearly people love you this much. <laughs> right? <laughs> Except when you're singing, because they only love you this much. <laughs> so guess what? We're not going to ask you to sing. <laughs> but I also know you just celebrated a, a, a birthday. Okay. Yeah, can you, can you whisper to me? 70. Shut up. <laughs> 70! Unbelievable! You look great! Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. You're fine. I'm fine. Like a little this. overwhelmed. Just a little. But feeling good. I am. I am very proud of my family. And so you should be, because they're exceptionally proud of you. As a tribute to you, they've asked me to dedicate this next song to you, Anne. Thank you. You're welcome. Unforgettable, that's what you are Unforgettable, though near or far 
Like a song of love that clings to me How the thought of you does things to me Never before Has someone been more Unforgettable In every way And forevermore That's how you'll stay That's why, darling It's incredible That someone So unforgettable Thinks that I am Unforgettable That's not the only surprise, Ed, because Here's your entire family from Liverpool, some of your oldest and dearest friends, the ladies of the Union of Catholic Mothers, and the other tree! Yeah, your partner in crime! <laughs> It's Jane! Come on over here, sweetheart. Unforgettable in every way. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the unforgettable Ann Jones! <laughs>